Today we're gonna talk about RBD Lab, which is a new physics add-on for Blender. Like the other add-on we talked about recently, it uses Blender physics and particle systems. It can be used for fracturing objects, making them explode, adding smoke, debris, and so on. RBD Lab not only reduces the time to achieve great results using Blender, but it can also do more than that. We should mention that most of the tools that the add-on offers are already native within Blender. However, the way the tools are presented and ordered within the add-on interface makes the process extremely simple, intuitive, and easy. Besides that, your modifications can be made non-destructively, so you can go back and make adjustments if you want to. The add-on has a lot of features, and some of the tools we're going to talk about include chipping. This tool will allow you to select multiple chunks based on their size and sort all of them in one collection. This is useful if you want to use this as an instance group for the debris and the dust effect. Adding grounds. You can also add ground with add a plane in the center of the world. The plane will use the collision physics automatically attached to it so your fractured mesh does not fall to the bottom. Using constraints. You can automatically add constraints to your broken mesh to hold it together and the constraint will hold every two pieces together, thus making your simulation way more realistic. You can control the connection strength using the glue strength value and the bigger it is, the more stronger the connection between the chunks are. You can choose whether the constraints are breakable or not by ticking the checkbox breakable. This will allow the constraint to break once the force applied reaches a certain threshold. Acetone. This feature will allow you to set up an object to deactivate the constraints that come into contact with, giving it the ability to break only specific parts of your mesh, just like the acetone chemical liquid that dissolves anything that comes in contact with. Creating particles. In this section, you can add particle systems to your simulation, debris, dust, and smoke. This is one of the major features of this add-on actually. The debris, dust, and smoke will be generated from either only the fractures or you can emit particles from all chunks. These effects will be added to the current frame that has been selected. So pick a moment in the simulation for the dust or debris to be generated and you will see that taking place. For example, if you are destroying a wall, pick the moment where all the wall starts to crumble. After that, you just click emit from current frame button. The self fracture add-on. The first thing you are going to see when you open the add-on window is the subdivision function. This will allow you to subdivide your mesh. More vertices means there are more details for the self-fracture add-on to use. However, this is not necessary if you select anything other than your own vert fracturing option because if you are familiar with the self-fracture in Blender, you know it uses five different fracturing sources. Your own verts, child verts, your own particles, chart particles, and annotation pencil. Rigid Bodies. In this section, you can add a rigid body to your mesh. With one click, you can add rigid bodies to all your collections. You can choose a different property for all chunks, such as collision margin, friction, damping translation, and damping rotation. However, you can skip all that and choose one of the many presets that the add-on offers. You can choose for more than 40 presets, such as timber, stone, and silver, or even air. Animation Kinematic. With the latest RBD Lab version, you can now animate your rigid bodies. This will keyframe the animated state of your animated rigid bodies. However, you need to deactivate the animated state once you want the physics system to take over. The way you can do that is by setting the start and the end of the frame of your animation and then jump one frame and deactivate the animated property. And this will allow the physics system to take over. Explode Visualization this one is great because it allows you to visualize every chunk of the fracture mesh with one click. When you hit the start explode button, you're going to notice that your mesh is color coded with different colors, which will help you visualize each part of your model. Go ahead and crank the amount up and watch your model explode. This functionality is just for visualization purposes and it is not used in the overall simulation. RBD Lab is by far one of the best rigid body physics simulations and destruction effects tools in Blender. The add-on speeds up the process tremendously because it can handle tedious and repetitive work easily. It is intuitive and very easy to use and I highly recommend it. And if you are interested in the add-on, you can find the links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. 
If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.